All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're welcome back to the Abiola VJ podcast. Uh, how I wish say I feel with you anywhere you day, you day, far away, to your day party lake by the wally, oh, oh, oh. This here is a special tribute to the one and only sound, Sultan. On the Abiola VJ podcast. Now, I have to confess that I had recorded this and then realized that I didn't actually record this. So this is the second time I'm recording this podcast. Uh, I'm going to try to make it as quick, as sharp, and straight to the point as possible. Even though Sound Sultan's life and what he did for the industry, for the music industry, is anything but that. Now, I think I first met this guy in 2012. Or 2011. I'm not so sure, but I do know that in 2012 I attended his 12 years of stage concert, and um, a lot of artists came through. A lot of people came through from Amotola to Timaya to uh, to a Savage to Baba. You know all the big names there, and they all came through to show support and love for Sound Sultan, and uh, it just showed how much of an influence or how big or how um, appreciative of his talent these people are because I'm watching that video back and I'm seeing all these people say so many great things about them and you know people have this this song by Pathoragi celebrate me now where they are alive they actually did celebrate Sam Sultan and that's a good thing to know they all came out and were talking about how Sal Sultan is such an amazing artist. He's a great guy. He's an amazing guy. He's awesome at his music. He had given us hits like uh, Motherland, that's what we call area, the Jaguajantis High School, Gege, Bushmeat, um, so many other hits before that concert. And people could see his talent. He worked with the best in the game. People appreciated his talent. He had done a lot and I'm just happy that things like that, opportunities like that, for people to appreciate him and say great things about him came before he passed away in 2020, in July 2020. Um, the news did hit us surprisingly. Um, it was just some days after Obama DMW's candlelight and uh, I think like the two days or three days or maybe even just today was within three days and we just heard news that sound sultan is dead sound sultan like the same sound sultan and ordinarily i should have done this podcast then but like you can hear i've been having some issues vocal issues so i've been trying to reduce the number of vocal stuff that i do but this at this point in time at the end today is the 31st of july by the way and so today we lost another entertainment great in Rachel Oniga. May her soul rest in peace as well. May her soul rest in power. And uh, it's just, unfortunate. Yeah, I take it this long, but it's better late than never. So Sal Sultan, um, such an influence for a lot of artists, a lot of celebrities. He didn't just act. He didn't just sing, he acted as well. He was a rapper, a singer, a, a lyricist. I remember the song that was done by Sam Sultan, uh, Sam Sultan, the um, MTV base, MTV base uh, series, the series about HIV AIDS. I forgot what's it, what it's called, right? Sugar. Yeah, I remember the song that was done by he, Flavor. Um, who are the other guys in that song? Chinima was in the song. Uh, who else was in that song? I cannot remember who else was in that song. But that song was for that theme show, the world theme song for the show, and he co-wrote it. He co-wrote it. He wrote a lot of songs. He helped a lot of artists on their way to start out. Whiskey, one of the biggest on that list. He was there for Whiskey as a father. In fact, if you go and check their their chats, their dealings on Twitter, you see a lot of times how Whiskey used to refer to Sam Sultan as his father or his uncle. It was switching between uncle and father all the time. So, I'll show you how immense of how immense a uh, contribution Sam Sultan made in life of Whiskey, and he did that not just for Whiskey, but for a lot of other artists. He wasn't the kind of guy to look down at you and say, uh, "Who are you?" You know, he was always there to help people, 
always there to offer assistance, always there to push people through and to guide them. And that's one of the reasons why he was loved by so many people. He was a great guy. And there's nobody, I don't think there's anybody that will tell you South Sultan was bad or South Sultan was this or South Sultan was that. It's just unfortunate. I was going to put up a video of our last interview with him because um, I did catch him just after the lockdown and we had a chat and I think that was the last time I actually spoke to him and it's just really unfortunate that that chat that video has been deleted unfortunately the full video unedited I can't find it anywhere and another video that pains me was one that did happen during the lockdown it was an Instagram live session with San Sultan and that has gone to like I didn't save it I don't think I saved it and because I didn't save it, it's not on Instagram because then I don't think there was an issue then. They changed some of the things. I think it's the issue of saving, yeah. The option to save didn't exist then. I don't think it existed then. So I couldn't save it. And then I couldn't publish. And then I didn't publish it for some reason or the other. I can't remember why. And so that video just doesn't exist. And he spoke about a lot. He spoke about how he first met Whiskey, and when Whiskey called him, he thought it was a girl. And then she, and then she came to come at. He came to see me. He said Whiskey was so respectful. And then there were so many things he spoke about the lockdown. His family. I could hear was chat. This was just less than a year or a year before he died, and it's just really unfortunate that that thirty minute session, which. It's so valuable right now and I would have loved to watch over and over. Doesn't exist anymore. Just really unfortunate. And uh, to his family that is no longer with us, his family that has lost uh, this man. I think I met him, okay, before I go into that, we met again at uh, the premiere, premiere of a film last year, I think late last year, I remember wearing a face mask. Yes, it was after the lockdown. I remember wearing a face mask and uh, I was chatting with Sal Sultan at the premiere. And then before the lockdown, we had a chat with him again. Before the lockdown, before all of these, we had a chat with him. And uh, it was like two or three weeks before the lockdown. And he was supposed to celebrate 20 years on stage 2020. Before the lockdown, he would have done that. And it was supposed to drop two albums. One was If One Day, which he eventually did drop. He was supposed to attend the listening party, but lockdown restrictions meant we couldn't go and he had to do it virtually. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just really painful. It's just an amazing human being. And I'm telling you from the perspective of somebody that I am a shy, I'm not a loud type or somebody that just puts it into situations. I'm a laid back kind of guy and I'm someone that goes to the red carpet a lot. And I talked to him a lot. I spoke to him a lot. I had a chat with him. I saw what he did. I was at uh, when his team, okay, uh, when he put a celebrity team together to play the Lagos Islanders, which is his team. I don't know where, I'm not sure if he still owned the team by the time he died. And uh, he had done a lot. He had done a lot for Nigeria. Nigerian music. He, he was an actor as well. His dream was actually playing the NBA. <laughs> Before the whole music thing happened, he wanted to play the NBA. Uh, that unfortunately didn't happen. And it's, you know, it was just an amazing being. And it's unfortunate with Nigerian, mu Nigerian music and Nigerian musicians and Nigerian entertainment lovers will definitely miss him. We still have material from him that hasn't dropped yet, uh, including a song with Wizkid, I think produced by Idi Kabasa, because he was working on an, on an EP. Yeah, he was working on an EP. And uh, I don't know how... Whether he completed that or not. But I hope it's something that will be released soon if it was completed. So that fans and friends can like literally just say, remember how awesome a musician he is or was. And uh, use those songs to remember him. It's just unfortunate. So my time, that's it. Abiola VJ, your boy. Say au revoir. You guys remember to be great, be awesome. Um, so, so ten, continue to rest in power. You are missed one hundred percent, no doubt. There's no lies, no no reason to formulate a lie out of that. And uh, I remember how you used to rhyme with the name Kate, 
And I have to just ask that, what is the fate of Kate now that her mate, Sasultan, is no longer with us and he has passed the gates? Well, I'm sure Kate would wish that she could elevate to go and meet her mate, Sasultan, but Kate has to be assured that her mate is in a better place. Yeah. Rest in power, South Sultan. My name is Abiola VJ. This has been product. <laughs> this has been the Abiola VJ podcast. And I say this with a smile, actually. He's just an amazing being. So think about the science to be the laugh and smile and children. Yeah, that's the South Sultan we want to remember. Ciao.